You got the national anthem controversy yeah. with Brandon Marshall adding on to it. This weekend, Seattle's planning some group thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got all this controversy around the hits and helmets. There's a hashtag on Twitter, boycott the NFL. It seems like all the issues away from the game mm -hmm. are overshadowing the game. Mm -hmm. And is there something the NFL and Roger Goodell can do to get more of the focus back on the game? Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's really more they can do. I think the issue is a, it's a hot topic. You know, the, the things that's going on. And I, and I don't think there's one thing that we can kind of put our hands on. Um, you know, like I said before, the thing that I want to challenge people to do really is it's okay to protest. It's okay. It's okay. Trust me. You can do whatever you want to stand up for. We, we have a, this is a country that you can stand up for whatever you want to stand up for. But Jay, I'm telling you this. People are tired of just people talking. People are tired of just people saying, oh, I'm going to stand up for this. If we're not doing nothing, if you don't have a, 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 a written out plan on how to stop some of this stuff, then we're just going to be going, everybody's going to pick and choose when they're going to keep doing it and how they're going to keep doing it. Economic development in urban neighborhoods, job creations, it changes the way everything are looked at. Policemen, police and police, right? It's, it, if, if, if you don't go internally, Right? It's like it's like talking about urban and talking about injustice, but never going to the hoods. You got to go to the hoods if you really want to change things, if you really want to see real change. You see, I think about. I think that the, the thing that I think we sometimes we keep missing and, and people are now using the NFL as this stage. Listen, whether you want to use it or not, to me, you're confusing two, two totally different things because one is played with pure passion. And now if you want to talk about uh, racism and different things, that's about strategically. It's about logic. It's about logic. So we have to separate those two. And if we don't separate those two, Jay, we're going it's, 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 to, it's almost like why Democrats and Republicans can't get along, right? Because everybody want to be right or everybody want to be heard. Suppose we just put a plan together that benefits everybody. And that's the way that we should be attacking this thing instead of so many individuals doing all these personal things. I get it. I get it because I'm as frustrated as you. I walk as a black man every day, right? And I've been on both sides of it. So I'm the last one to say, no, let's not stand up for it. Yes, let's stand up for it. But we need a strategic plan on how we're going to go into these urban neighborhoods, how we're going to stop these cops from killing these... The, 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 and how we're going to stop killing each and other. And how we're going to stop killing each other. Because one of my biggest issues, my brother, is there's no way you can pick up a paper and see 500 people gone from this earth. Afro-American people in a nine-month span in one city and now let me let me let me just circle it around for you. Then you got to understand this: they're not even the highest per capita. We're talking about Baltimore, um, uh, New Jersey. We're talking about Miami. Per capita has a higher homicide rate. Really?